Yeah, I gotta be honest here. I kind of like the theme song that's playing right now. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just really do like the beat of this game. Well, hello everybody and welcome to Bury the Hatchet, which is a RPG maker horror game where you essentially play as a serial killer working at a gas station who's trying to dispose of a body. And he has to ring out the customers or else he risks getting caught. Sounds interesting, but with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Game includes depictions of the following. Oh. Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Can you not hear me with that mask on? I'll just take it off for you then. No, I hear you just fine. Uh, then you could have at least shown some sort of reaction. Like, I'm ready to serve you, master, or something. What sort of place does this person think a gas station is? Anyway, I really, really need that drink. I can see it right behind you on this, on that shelf, so... Be a pal and get it for me, KK. Man, it's too early for this. Interact with the shelf behind you using Z or enter. The legendary shelf she was referring to. I'm not paying you just to look at it. Actually, pick it up for me, okay? Just go on and grab it, okay? You got beer. Here's your beer, ma'am. Oh my god, yay. This isn't it. This isn't the special collaboration beer with Idol Miracle Shine. Ma'am, I just got the one you are pointing at. You just want me to, to be miserable, don't you? Like the rest of this horde world, I'm a curse to live in. So get on with it, then. Checking you out, of course, ma'am. I mean, get on with checking in the back. Find me my actual beer already. It's surely in there, right? It's a magical forbidden place. Surely my magical beer is in there as well. Besides, can't show up to the college party without it. <laughs> sure, ma'am. How good check. Oh, wow, that's a lot of blood. Here's that so-called magical back room. I'll at least pretend to check around so she doesn't lose her mind when I come back without it. Oh, what do you know? I guess it was here all along. Funny, I didn't notice it before her hand. got special edition beer. I like how he drew a smiley face down below in the blood. And here's... And there it is, finally, after five gazillion years. Any longer and I'd have called for your... for, for your manager? What? Called for for your manager? You would hate that, wouldn't you? Not as if he cares most of the time, but... Him coming in today would be... Not ideal. Appreciate the gesture, ma'am. Now, that'll round up too. Payment, I know, I know. Don't worry, pleb. And keep the change. He didn't pay enough. Ugh. Well, better clean up the mess back there before anyone else comes in. Hello again. Fancy seeing you here. Let's get you all cleaned up, huh? Keeping you here wouldn't be my first choice normally. But you're going to need to wait till after my shift. For now. That'll do. Time for six more hours of the... This mask is... Fuck it, I'll just... There we go. Got some dust struck... Stuck up in there or something. 
Uh oh. Oh. Oh my god. Yeah, you gotta kill her, bro. Guess she needs to die. You. You kill Courtney. This sucks. Two of them. Two bodies that I need to store in the back room. And you got that scar on your face. I don't think anyone else is in the store right now. So if I'm quick about it, it should be fine. Then that means you must be... Alrighty, here it goes. The absolutely wicked and awesome bear water grizzly killer, aren't you? I'm like your number one fan. Huh? Okay, then. I mean, okay, Hellspawn32 claims he's your biggest fan because he actually went to the site of your first murder you actually laid claim to. But I'm calling bull on that one. And now I've actually met you, so that's nothing compared to whatever parasocial lunacy he's on. You know what's really fucked up about this? There are people out there who genuinely, like, revere serial killers. Like, this is an actual thing. There are people out there who admire serial killers for some god knows reason. Besides, in my opinion, I'm in the camp that believes that the trailer park killings weren't on you. Cause like, look, see, give me a sec. Rummaging fervently. Here we go, as we can see from one of the first newspaper clippings of the event. The cuts weren't all crisscrossed, and that's your whole thing. Can't make your debut without your signature prepared, right? No, those are me. Oh, really? Damn it. Well, if he doesn't know, he won't... He won the bet. I don't owe him, right? Okay, never mind that. Listen, kid. I am not a kid. I am 21 years young. Which is a thing that old people say once they're trying to deny the fact that they're old, so I must be old. <laughs> What's your name? My ne- Oh yeah, I'm Pearl. It's literally the biggest honor to be able to meet you. I know I seem chiller than chill, but I'm really bugging right now. So... You're not gonna sell me out. Are you for real, silly? I mean, sorry, but why the hell did I do that? I'm meeting my idol right now. At least I think I am. You got the right scars, but Courtney's body doesn't seem to be all hacked up. In fact, it seems way more knife stabbed. I didn't get the wrong guy, did I? No, it's still me. Okay, yay. I mean, he still hasn't butchered a body yet, so... FYI... I'm the creator of your... Your city's fan page, and it's all me. If you were curious. I'm not exactly a coder, so paying someone to do that took a pretty penny. Okay, whatever, just give me a sec to think about this. Ah, of course, of course. Completely excited. Now I'm genuinely curious. Whatever happened, like, I want to know what would happen if, like, an actual serial killer met one of these psychotic fans who reveres them. I'm genuinely cur I'm, like, curious on the outcome of that situation. Yeah, you can live. Oh my god, yay. I mean, if you wanted to kill me would definitely be the best way to go out. My only request would be that you don't hide my body so that I'm on the news, but... I get to stay alive, yippee. I've got some questions to ask you about the girl, though. Oh, Courtney? You're not planning on keeping her here, right? I mean, good thing that I was the one who wandered in here. But if you're not careful, someone else get a nice eyeful of her. And I'm, you know, not like the other girls. <laughs> so they won't have the same reaction as me. I agree, that's why I... Um, you mean we, right? Please let me hide the body. Please, please, please. 
<laughs> no. Please, 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 please. <laughs> Kid, I don't have time for the... Not a kid. Whatever. I mean, hey, look on the bright side. This could work out. While you're manning the front, she could be dealing with the body, you know, mopping up all the blood. Chopping the body into pieces and then dumping it in uh, the dumpster behind the building, you know? I understand the woes of modern capitalism. You can't do your shift and hide the body at the same time, right? Two people are better than one. Exactly. The more people involved, the more tongues that might wag. That's also true, but come on, you think I'd rat you out? At this point in time, she's already a suspect, so we won't brag on some form that you helped me hide a body. Okay, that's also true. That's why I... Hey, is there anyone actually working here? Hello? Might as well walk off with all this stuff then. Please, please, at least let me mop up the blood, please. Okay, okay, fine, just... Yippee, yes, yes, yes. Keep quiet. Okay, rock on, dish. This floor be clean as a whistle when I when you come back. Obviously, she needs to die, but later rather than sooner. He's useful for now. Now I'm on the clock. If only killing paid better. Um, hello, hello. Uh, depends on which job you take. I mean, hell, hitmen make a pretty decent penny. Although. You risk going to jail, but like a uh, what was it like a? Uh, oh, it depends on who you're killing. It's like a thousand dollars per head around that. I need help here, please. Oh yeah, coming. Hey, give us all your money. We're not afraid to put up a fight. Come on, open up the cash register. Bro, he would destroy both of you. Look how effing big he is. Dude is built like Jason Voorhees. What do you do if I don't? Well, uh, well, exact will beat you up. Okay, go ahead. Uh, you're too intimidating and you have a mask too. It's no fair. Just an energy drink to even out the odds. I can't be bothered arguing with children. Just a sec. Oh, uh, you're about to be timed by the customer's patience. You need to find what the customer wants, and there are tons, six of different places that items could be. On the counter, sure, but under the counter as well, or on in shelves. If you're stuck, you can look at a little list you made in your key items to remember where to check. As always, when working in customer service, there's the dreaded threat of, oh, let me talk to your manager. And in this situation, you do not have the trump card of being your own manager. Your manager gets called, he's going to come down and discover the body you've hidden in the back room. This is un unideal. So make sure you serve everyone quickly. Ready? Then go. What, I gotta find an energy drink? Here you go. Wanna try and beat me up now? You're too scary. Bye bye. I'm adding the store, a bunch of people are going to end up coming up for help, as per usual. But I need to remember what kinds of locations the store has. I've got that note I wrote for myself earlier. On that note, Grizz, kid, shush. Listen, I need some sort of way to talk to you while you're out front. Do you have a walkie talkie or something we can use? Let's slide it right under the door. I want to be a little big for under the door exchanges. I remember seeing it placed conveniently under that orange cone you've got on the counter. Just get it fast. 
We got a walkie talkie. Hey, thanks so much. I'll treasure this forever and ever and tuck it into bed at night or something. Oh, another ghost. Okay, never mind. It's a freaking unicorn. Hey, uh, got anything special in the back rooms? If you get my drift. Is he into onto something? She didn't text her true crime form friends, did she? I'm sure it's like super easy for you to sneak in grass into a job like this, right? I'll uh, pay a lot. None of that, sorry. Man, I accidentally gave the rest of mine to a trick-or-treater. Man, that trick-or-treater must be having the time of his life right now. <laughs> this sucks. Can I get some gummies? I'll just convenience myself. They're edibles. The only gummies that they sell here are some sour brain worms, sir. Yeah, I'll take those instead then. Can you, uh... Go get it. I just want to hang out here, ma'am. Pretty strong stuff if just a bit made you act th like this. You bet, ma'am. Go get the gummies, yeah? Alright. Oh. Nope, don't want to do that. It would be under snacks, right? Sweet and sour gummies. Damn, I'm zooming. Here you go, 279, please. Hope this mask makes up for things. <laughs> I bet it will. Happy Halloween, mask, madame. Phew, it's starting to slow down. Be able to check on Pearl after this group clears out. Hey, yo, uh, I'll be taking three of these, please. Okay, that's 12.34, sir. Got it, got it. I know what's going on with you, though. What you must be thinking right now. Like three boxes of chocolate, man. I must be on my cheat day or something. But no, no, no. It's much worse. You see? My girl is mad at me. I see. So look how cute she is. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't know what I, do, what I did to tick her off, but she didn't pick up any of my calls this morning. We always call together during breakfast. We never skip swinging on the flippity-flop. It was like definitely during like the 90s or 80s and on Halloween of all days. What about your outfit coordination? We needed to decide that together on the morning itself. I must have done something absolutely unforgivable to piss her off. Whatever the crime, I hope that this will begin to show some of my rem some of my remorse to Courtney. Well, I'll see her during class. I cry in front of her. Hopefully, she'll take me back. Anyway, happy Halloween. Uh, that stain under the door there is that. It's the time of the month. Uh, m my bad. Uh, I need to talk to Pearl. Hey, Pearl, question for you. Oh my gosh, of course. Anything. I can I can do or anything I can do to be of service to you. Blech. This girl, you said her name was Courtney, right? Yep. And was she dating anyone? Uh not yet, or I guess never now, but she and Brandon were goo goo for each other. Vomit inducing, if you ask me, freaking metrosexuals. I'm stupidly excited to see his face when he finds out, though. <laughs> Why do you ask? I'm very certain I saw him just now. Oh my god, really? Uh, he's got a really bad root. 
reads some of the most pathetic eyes I've seen in my life. Big pink jacket. Uh, yeah, that tacky thing, as always. Or concerningly, he saw blood leaking out from under the door. I played it off, but once he realized she's actually missing... Hey, don't sweat it. He's far too numbskull to remember. Anyway, we've bought... We've bonded now. Gotta know each other. I've helped you hide a body and all, and now you owe me, so... Oh, you, you begged me to let you help me. You gotta come to one of our shows, okay? What? Please, you owe me. I gotta go deal with... Please, 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 please. To be completely honest, we need to focus on hiding the body. Hear about it before you kill her. Oh. Wish I saved. Hear about it before you kill her, or... Okay, you can tell me about your band while I work. Hand me that saw, would you? Oh, not your hatchet, still? I mean, of course. Okay, so, 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 there are four of us. Amy Daisy on keys, Violet on bass, and of course, me on guitar and lead vocals. <laughs> you don't have a drummer? After all, if the band's called Death of Venus, it's destined that the person named Pearl lead it, right? Since that Venus chick came out of an oyster and all. Oh, did you guys inherit the band and its name from someone else? What? No, I named it. And founded it. Huh? Well, we've got big plans coming up. Amy's brother works at Duncan. And he's trying to pull some strings so we can perform there sometime. We've been prepared for so long, so actually getting to perform in front of people. I'm so buzzed, I can hardly stand it. That doesn't sound like a good, di you know, gig. Playing out of Dunkin' Donuts. Glad for you. Hey, can you pass me that rag? Huh? Oh, oh, of course. Hey, okay, while I have you here, can I run a few lyrics by you? I'm not exactly a lyricist. Eh, the words themselves aren't the point. It's all about the emotions. Let me know if it speaks to you at all. Ahem. Walk the line, keep in step, do it all, no missteps. Still you look and you frown, no matter what you're in your mind, I'm always down. So, oh, is that all? For now, as long as it's a work in progress. But, um, what do you think? Hmm. Pass me the bucket first. Uh, okay. Well, your rhythm step with misstep. Yeah, because they're, they rhyme. Well, besides, what about the emotions? My emotions. Or, I mean, could be anyone's emotions. Listen, okay, Pearl? There's no point in being so anxious over my opinion. If you're writing lyrics about feeling judged, why do you want others to judge them? So the feeling that I hate being judged just across, yes. This is pretty standard, young people, well, young person angst, then. I'm so glad I could talk to you about it. A serial killer being a great listener, that's kind of ironic. <laughs> there, that's all her limbs hacked off. Man, man, oh man, oh man. Getting to see the Bearwater Grizzly Killer work in person is such a dream. Wait till XX Grunge Fan 54XX finds out. Uh, I mean that. Not that I would tell, of course. Of course. Having a special little secret between the two of us is far more special. What's far more special is not getting caught. Listen, I need to stay at the gas station for the rest of my shift. That's going to last all the way into the evening. After what we're going to eat, we're going to use your... Wait, wait. You get to be a part of your plan? Yes, I mean, you're a part of it, aren't you? Euphoric glee. Oh, we're using your case to transport the body. It's Halloween, no, so props like that can't pass without suspicion. 
I say you made it work with your costume. Huh? Costume. This is how I always dress. And my case already has my baby in it, okay? Your baby. My guitar. Can't you just... Oh, great. Got a customer. Damn it. Hey, hey, it's okay. Work on finding some new way to transport the body while you serve customers, okay? Leave it to old Pearl. I, uh, whatever. I'll be back. Please do. And hey, you're supposed to be mopping up this blood. Hurry up and get to it. I can take a second to catch my breath if I need to. Customers shouldn't bother me until I start messing around with the counter, at the very least. Oh. Eep a monster. Kitty, protect me. Um, Kitty, do something. I'm not a monster. This is a mask. I guess you should be scared, though. Uh, okay, in that case. Oh, you calm down quick. It always sounds friendly. Hehe. <laughs> You just get some milk for me and my kitty. It's the last ingredient we need for our special Halloween potion. I'm going to turn my kitty into a great warrior. He didn't seem to be much... seem to do much to protect you just now. I know, he's helpless. I'm sure the milk will help. I don't know where it is. Go get it. Help me, please. Sure thing. Alright, there's the milk. That'll be a dollar fifty-eight. But a thing of milk, that's actually cheap. Yay, thank you. I gotta make my potion now. Can I, sit, can I use your bathroom, please? Thank you. Repeat that, could you? I need to pee. I urgently need to pee. Please let me pee. Let me get that key for you. Oh my god, thank you. Hurry. Don't get too excited. Don't want to mess in the place. Have I seen this guy's face before? Hey, before you go, are you... Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy Halloween, thank you. Oh, and he's gone. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's no way she called the cops, right? Well, officer, what can I get you? Yeah, he's awfully quiet. Happy Halloween. EPA. I love Halloween. I'm really getting into the spirit this year. I'm dressing up as something really spooky. Cop. Huh. Boo. Anything you need. This could all be a play. Everyone want to get into this costume. Want to get me a serial killer related tabloid point? Well, pronto. I'll point at people in it and discuss their irredeemability. Won't that really sell my costume? I'll get that tabloid for you. Face up a killer. Uh, I guess that's the... That's a picture of me. The grizzly killer, huh? I'll put him in jail. Happy Halloween. <laughs> Oh, great. He's back again. I would like to return this. These open boxes of chocolates. I don't think we can do that, sir. But I couldn't even give them to my girl. I wasn't even at school today. I asked all her friends, but no one had seen her. Ma'am. My girl is so mad at me. She doesn't want to be around me at all. How can I repair her broken heart? I'm so miserable. I to hear all of that, sir. Not like someone like you would ever understand what I'm going through. 
Hey, Grizz. I blinged out this old box you had back there. Oh, random. Pearl, stupid, uh, stupid Pearl. I see that your band's really truly selling well if this is where you've ended up. You got the whole Tom Tom Club over here. Hmm. At least I have a club. Seems like even Lamey's ditched you and your rat's nest of a haircut. Hey. Whatever's going on between Courtney and I is none of your business, Lamstain. Or Lamestain. Didn't you be more worried about getting all that grat- well, gro- What? All of that gross, uh... Whatever, that is on your boots off. Oh, uh, hey, Brandom. Do you want to know what's on me? Because I peaky promise that you'll hate the answer. Let's phrase... And it's my lunch break, so you can go now. Huh? Good day, sir. Uh, geez, okay. I'll get out of your hair. He's starting to catch on. Did you see the look on his face? Pathetic. Anyway. What the hell is wrong with you? Um, what? Tell him that we killed his girlfriend right in front of his face. Well, Ted, the body is right there. Right there. Just a few steps away. It's the middle of the day. He makes a fuss of things. It's over. We're caught and shipped off. I don't know what stupid little vendetta you guys have with each other, but... You need to stop it. Get yourself together and actually do what I say. Okay. Because that's what you want too, right? Just for me to shut up and obey you. To do what you want. Uh, freaking figures that you're all the same. Whatever. What was that about? Eh, I don't want her to freak out and cause more problems. Taking the time to at least try having a conversation with her is probably best. Oh, hi, er. Look, like I said, the box completely blinged out and bedazzled. Yeah, uh, guess that you disguised it pretty well. Right? Um... Hey, sorry if I stood on some toes earlier. It's just, it's just, you do understand why telling people you're hiding Courtney's body right now is bad, right? Duh. Hey, Grizz, question for you. Hmm. Do you actually think we can hide Courtney's body? Because, like, maybe I'm wrong and you've actually successfully hidden a body in the past. But given how every body of yours they find seems to be shoddier and shoddier attempting at hiding it, I don't think that's the case, right? All of the extra work that you've, you're have you putting into dismembering her and stuff feels kind of desperate, almost. I think the truth is, you're pretty bad at hiding bodies. You can hide that it was you. I'm pretty sure you're pretty good at managing the Detach yourself from the problem at hand. But the problem at hand stays. And so you're still here too. That's why your hatch is nowhere to be found, right? No one is going to find Courtney's body. Oh, the sinister look. Don't worry about it. Okay, yay. You know what you're doing far more than I do, so I'll trust you. In that case, protection is key, right? Which is why I've got these. Why the fuck do you have bear traps? Yep. From your case. No, I'm just keeping them here for a second for convenience. I found them lying around the back. Why was there bear traps back here? Are they not yours? No, the manor is just really into hunt. I see. Anyhow, I think I'd be wrong 
I think it'd be wrong not to make use of them. We gotta help them make use of their life's purpose. As long as you're confident, you can tidy up all of them after the fact. Having all these traps set up for seemingly no reason is not going to do us favors after the fact. Okie dokie. Anyway, so like, there's this thing that's been really stressing me out, so can I vent to you about it? And right back at it like nothing happened, good for her. Sure, tell me about it while I set up the bear traps. Sure thing, boss. So like, there are four members of my band, right? Including me. I forgot if I mentioned that already, lol. Uh-huh. But the problem is, Amy is like, honestly really mediocre at drums. That, and she doesn't show up half of the time. Uh-huh. Pass me another trap. Yep, yep. I heard from someone somewhere that when you're working in the creative field, you need to be... be two of the three things, okay? Pleasant to work with, always on time, and it'd be absolutely amazing at what you do. And like, love her to death, but the only thing Amy's good at is making freaking amazing strawberry Romanoff. <laughs> like seriously, I kill for it. Uh-huh, pass me another one. Yep, yep. But basically, it's only a matter of time before I break the news to her. But I don't have anyone else to ask to do it instead. We well, can't be without a drummer, that's like lame. I was thinking, after all this, since you have the arms for it. What if you wanted to do it? Uh-huh, pass me up. Oh my god, really? I figured I'd be... <laughs> I'd need to convince you, but this is awesome. Nope, sorry, I misspoke. Huh? You said something else, you know? I can't be doing that. You already said yes. And now I'm saying no. Niff, what the heck? Should have said no takesy backsies first. Uh, this girl. Hello? Can I like buy this or something? Even though you totally just broke my heart, no worries. You go on and help him. I'm gonna set up more traps in the meantime. Right. Better set one on that red door back there. If I want to, I can look around for a bit before attending to customers. Maybe I shouldn't, but, uh, teaches them the virtue of patience. You know, I'm actually gonna say, I've been meaning to say for a while. Cash register. If even a cent is out of place, I get it. Whoa, what the? I got zooms in when his leg is there. Hey, how are you doing? I'm fine. Man, my car broke down. I'm totally sick of cars, man. My girlfriend, she's amazing, got me into this whole fairy girl lifestyle. Even bakes bread for me and stuff. She's the perfect chick. She got you into a cowboy outfit for Halloween, I bet. <laughs> yeah. I'm an investment banker, but she wants to, me to be a bit more rough. And now my goddamn tires broke down. Help a guy out and fetch some tire repair thingy for me, okay? I'll give you a bonus on everything. And everything. It'll be like... Tire repair kit. Yep, there it is. Trust me, I used to work at a gas station. I know the bells and whistles. Here you go, 920... 921, please. Keep the change. Man, maybe I'll drive real far away. Way deep into the country with this thing and my lady. Who am I kidding? I love money too much. Well, my girl's waiting. See ya. Hello, benevolent service worker. How can I help you? Absolutely brilliant to see the masses participating in All Hallows Eve. Sure. How can I help you? Mass Maiden, may you assist me with something deeply private? The truth is, I... I... 
Can you give me a tabloid discussing the latest news on society's elite? On those that influence and define our cultural norms? A celeb tabloid? You want a pop star tabloid? We have plenty. Yes, I know that they are indicative of low culture. But the gorgeous bodies on display and most riveting melodies captivated me. I am of the masses. We're not so different, you and me. I'm not so sure. Let me get that tabloid for you. Got a rock star article. All right, here you go, you Shakespearean douche. Hey, isn't that the piss guy from earlier today? Here you go. Enjoy your degenerate tabloid. Eh, your words are so poison. Quill upon the parchment of my flesh. 984, please. And my wallet, too. Goodbye. And who's... Oh. Hi. Hello. Hey, what can I get you? Woohoo, you didn't say Happy Halloween. We hate Halloween. We're protesting against it. Your costume seems to suggest otherwise. Well, well, we didn't hate Halloween a few hours ago. But we ate way too much candy and we threw up. Can you believe that? All three of us threw up. What if it was that, guys? So now we hate Halloween. Oh! <laughs> it was like the fucking edibles that that one guy in the unicorn costume. He gave it to these kids. But well, we need your help, so stop it. Give us water now. How will that end a century-long tradition, exactly? We're replacing hollow, whatever that is, with something more, even more crucial to the human essence. That's right. Waterween. Humans need water, so we're starting Waterween. Water, now. Okay. Waterween. That sounds like a dumb holiday. Here's your stupid water. No, I don't need to be behind the counter. There you go. Waterween will reign supreme. We need water to live, a water lean. Dollar 13, please. Pennies for the beginning of a revolution, water lean. Uh, I'm so sick of doing this everywhere. What? Buying crap at a gas station? <laughs> and you can't even be cordial about it. Give me info on missing people, okay? Did you make it disappear? Because you're a magician? I want to try to enjoy Halloween despite all the stuff going on in my life, okay? Please go fetch that tabloid for me, alright? I deserve to live a normal life. Oh, missing person's newspaper. Same as always, no info to find. The rabbit to my magician. I'll pull you out of my hat soon enough. It's raining, huh? I'm for any trick or treaters, I guess. Guess it. Uh, what's wrong? Did something happen? I freaking dropped Courtney on a bear trap. I mean, seems like she's still in, but so many of the jewels fell everywhere. All the little bedazzlement I painstakingly put on, they fell off. So I'm so. Eh, help her out. Don't worry, I get. Don't patronize me. You are emotionally distraught and a bit irrational about it. This is so up. Uh, of course, people only look at me when I mess up. 
You can't stand out in marching band. Just blare the wrong note, duh. Hey. And that aside, I mean, Wacky doesn't even begin to cover it, right? It's very weird for someone to want to help a serial killer, right? I mean, yeah. Kind of out of the ordinary there. Pretty out of the ordinary to be phased at all by a... Not be phased at all by a serial killer chopping up a classmate's body, bad blood or not, right? It's so... I'm so... Not less mad, but got so upset she tried herself out. I thought, <laughs> I really thought for a while. And if I actually tried to follow what other people said, I get the right kinds of eyes on me. Really hard to think for yourself, after all. When you make your own decisions, if things go badly, the fault lies with you. So why didn't things turn out well? Was everyone still getting mad at me? Was I doing what they asked? Couldn't they just look at? Not that that matters anyhow anymore. Hey, I have another question for you. Sure, shoot. Where's your hatchet? You always kill with a hatchet. Even when your other, when your other little trademarks came and went, it was always, always a hatchet. That was kind of odd that you hadn't been using it up until now. I but figured. Courtney took you by surprise, so killing her with a knife was just convenient. Quicker to saw through bones with an actual saw, and we're on a time crunch. But I feel like it's a little too absent. I don't know. You don't have an answer. You don't have to answer me. Hell, I'm just some fangirl that you met earlier this morning. But if I'm right on your reasoning as to why you're not using the hatchet, hey, for real now, we're never going to actually succeed in hiding a body, are we? I don't think you've ever thought you were going to even on your own. Before this, all your killings were far, far from the city. Probably how you managed to get away with all it all, right? Perfectly controlled. A situation like this probably isn't ideal. Probably thought you could hide it in the city, huh? So many people, and no one's looking for a country bumpkin killer in the concrete. Pretty lucky that anyone's looking at all, huh? Hey. Okay, Pearl. I used the hatchet because it's what I'm most comfortable with, that's all. There's nothing special about it. It's just a tool. Well, like you kind of said, it became his signature. It became recognizable. Is that part of the point to a lot of serial killers, though? Have one so people know who you are? You're a symbol for all freaks. It's like drama on forms about you. Guys getting way too much attention, really. No, I hate that shit. I prefer if no one had found any of my bodies. Ah, look. All due respect, but I never wanted to involve anyone else. Especially not someone like you. Huh? Someone like me? The hell is that supposed to mean? Someone so desperate to be found. <laughs> I guess it is all a little ironic then. Uh, we were in the middle of something. Hey, don't shout. Just give me a sec. Okie dokie. Welcome and whatever, how can I... Oh great, this guy again. Um, <laughs> hi again. Sorry to bother you, I just uh... I wanted to talk to Pearl if that was possible. He's not here. Oh, is that the case? <laughs> Listen, I'm kind of stretched, you know. I call Courtney's parents because we're chill and all, but... They said that she left home early to get some last-minute custom supplies or something. Oh, I just accidentally skipped that. They assume she decided to go straight to school after buying stuff, but, uh, she didn't. No one's seen her at all. All day, no matter how much I ask. The only person that so much has joked about seeing her is Pearl. So even though it's probably a stretch, I gotta ask, you know? You know where she went or whatever. That'd be great. 
It's being pointed in the right direction, please. Yeah, it beats me. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Sorry. Uh, okay. Thanks anyway. Coming in that walkie-talkie I asked for earlier. Me, Pearl, the one and only. Can I have some help back here again, please? Uh, freaking liar, huh? Hey, wait a sec. Let me through. Let's just all calm down, okay? I just want to talk to Pearl. It's no big deal, okay? Shit. I need to find something to deal with him now. Let's save that. Well, that's probably the hatchet right there. Courtney, I'm, go I'm gonna call the cops. Damn it. <laughs> She's actually excited to be arrested. This her like wide ass fucking grin while being in the police car. That's funny. Okay, I need that. Oh wait, wasn't there a? Yeah, Bowie knife. Pearl, are you? I see. Yeah. -oh. He put the effing glitter on her corpse. What the fuck? Hi. Courtney. Well, like she said, you need a signature. She's... Yeah. Deader than a doornail. That would be interesting, though. Serial killer just putting a bunch of sparkles and glitter on their fucking victims. I mean, it'd be interesting, but... I'm super sorry for something that this is how you found out, but like, hey. Plenty of fish in the sea, right? Honestly, wouldn't dwell on it too much. I'm going to kill you. I'm seriously for real going to kill you. I knew you were sick. <laughs> hey, you, you just tried to kill me, didn't you? Freaking jock tribe types. Can't just make it easy, can you? You bitch. You think you, you're gonna stop me from getting out of here and getting the fucking cops? I'm the first pick quarterback. I'll have you know. You and what what you did to Courtney Fuck. Oh shut up. Oh we gotta get out of here. We can't let him get out. That's like... Stuff's bad. I know that, Pearl. These kids. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> yeah, you stabbed him. Not well enough. Seriously, you jock types. You freaking chuckle-headed pieces of shit. Oh, I guess so. He's slinking off now. Don't worry, he's not getting far at this point. Come on. Ugh. There's the hatchet. I see the hatchet. The, the door. No, 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 no. Damn it, damn it, damn it. This can't. This needs to open. It needs to. Listen, kid. Fuck off. Really nothing personal, in fact. I prefer not to do this. You and I both know we wouldn't be able to keep your... You wouldn't be able to keep your mouth shut. So this is how it's going to have to be. <laughs> yeah. Grizz going to kill you dead. Earl. Sorry, zipping mouth. You two, you gotta be bugging. How can you... How can you act so... So pretentious? You fucking killed my girl, and for what? All, all that people I like, you guys are good at, is ruining lives. What the hell did she... Did it? Did I do wrong? Like, for real? Was it the wrong place, wrong time? Did she say something to tick you off? Seriously. Why'd she have to die? Huh? What you looking at? 
this thing, a hatchet. That's... <laughs> you d don't like me grabbing hold of this, huh? <laughs> you two, you're weak enough, right? And I'm strong enough. I mean, I wouldn't say the guy with the bear mask is weak enough. Let's be honest here, Grizz. He's definitely got more weight on you, dude. You might have the stamina, but he's got the strength. If it's to avenge Courtney, I, I can... God, you won't shut up, will you? I just need to help you with that, I guess. Wait, Pearl. Take this. No. Oh, I've gotta... I gotta say... That was exceptionally stupid of you. Stupid Pearl. Let go of me. You seriously bit me, gross ass. But, but, I... Freaking got you, you freak. You absolute brickhead. Well, Grizz, was it? I I'll do it. I'll kill her. I'll do it. You know I will. I'd have done it before this, but... Well, what? I will. I do have... I have done it before this. But now that this freak show is going to... And what? What the fuck is this guy saying? Now that's Courtney's. My girl. Get over her. She's been dead for hours now, you loser. Shut up. You. You freaking monster. You are going to let me out of here. Alive. You're going to open the door and let me leave out the back. Or she gets it. Or, <laughs> wait. Rumi to assume that you actually care about her, right? She's a freak after all, even by your standards. Regardless if you care at all about having blood on your hands anymore, you'll... It's okay. Even if you even if you give them a... Give them to him, I can... You can shut up. You've already done enough. I can if you trust me, I can. You shut up now, unless you... Unless you want to join Courtney. Damn it. Whatever. What's it gonna be? Okay, let's just... Don't give him the keys. F it. Can't let you leave here, no matter what. And no keys. You're fine with stupid Pearl dying then? Whatever. Do it. Huh. You think I won't? I will. I, I really, I really will. Is that so? Then do it. I wonder if Pearl had a knife on her. I'm betting that's what happened. <laughs> See, I did it. I actually... was hard enough with three of them. Oh, I guess he actually did kill her. Guess things always need to work out this way. Better get started then. First time was an accident. The second and third were two. Fourth and fifth and sixth, not so much. At some point, I'd begun to wonder if my capacity for it all was endless. I felt no ill will against these people. I did not kill them because I enjoyed it. I did not even kill them for any sort of reward. People kept dying by my hatchet because it was convenient. They practically fell onto it. In the end, it wasn't even any sort of morality that caused me to stop. Only if you're realistic about it, it just doesn't pay well. Ah, uh, Miss Blank, please do come again. Come in. Very excited to interview you. Your application was very strong, honestly. Somewhat unrealistic, so... <laughs> we need all the help we can get around this season. And you seem wonderful. That being said, I must ask, are you feeling sick? If you're under the weather, we can reschedule for this later. Why do I ask? You're wearing the medical mask, after all. Oh, well, it isn't any of my business. 
They only <laughs> end up asking around here a week into the investigation because someone remembers Brandon mentioned returning to chocolates he got. They mentioned Courtney in passing during questions. The only sign anyone noticed that Pearl is missing is a crappy handmade poster her bandmates put up. Aw, poor Pearl. Alright, uh, give him the keys. Alright, here's the keys. What? Seriously? No goofs or gaffs. You let Pearl go now. God, when was the last time you showered, gross ass? The keys. They're really... Oh, oh man. <laughs> you two are so freaking dead. When I get out of here and call the cops on you, then you'll... Um, okay. Oh. <laughs> Don't ignore the damsel in distress. <laughs> you... You shoved him <laughs> into a bear trap. Damn, good work. Oh my god, is that praise? For me? It's my lucky day, wahoo. Hey, watch it with that lamp stain. I'll freaking kill you. Look out. Keep your hatchet. Damn. Guess taking him out won't be easy. Well, this'll hurt. But giving me give me a sec with him and No, wait a sec. I've got a way better way of- I got a- wait, what? I got a way better way of dealing with this. Come on. Don't ignore me. I'll kill you for what you did to Courtney. Do you hear me? Kill you. They all know what you did. What you did to- oh god. What was her plan? Okay, this place sells gas, right? Oh, they're going to burn the place down. I mean, it's a gas station. And lighters? Gas and lighters? Can you get those quickly? Why don't you... Hey, I can't even hold two items at once. Why not? Store policy. I think we can ignore that rule for now, okay? No gas. Imagine the lighters right behind the... And we got a lighter. Got them. Perfect. Then, just a matter of spreading this around, and then... Alrighty, I think we're set for Soren. Just need to be careful that we don't blow up alongside it. <laughs> oh, don't light it here, obviously. Yeah, once we get outside. Ah, you're right. For sure. Let's, let's go then. Let's count down, okay? Three. It, just throw it. Okay, okay. I got a gas station's name is 24-7. Wow. Brandon's probably super dead, isn't he? Probably. That upgrades you from serial killer assistant to killer, so I guess congrats are in order. <laughs> not serial killer, though? Uh, nah. Not until your third body. Well, it was only one guy, so no. <laughs> you got a point. Yeah. You earned the title after your third body. After that, yeah. No, 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 no. Kill a thousand, you earn the title Genocider. What is it? My baby, my guitar. I never put it back in my case after putting all the traps in there. Uh, I could just throw up. This sucks. Uh, there, there. If it's any comfort, uh, I'm probably never getting my hands, but my hands back on my hatchet. If, oh my god, you're right. Guess I get to share a deeply traumatizing loss with my favorite person. <laughs> That almost makes it worth it. Yippee. I'm still really bummed, actually. I figured. No, all that stuff I said about not being able to hide a body. 
can only account for completely destroying it as an option. Things just work out that way sometimes. Um, you should probably get the fuck out of there before the cops show up, because, uh, you just blew up a gas station, so firefighters and police force are most likely on their way. Hey, Chris. We need to figure out a better name for you to call me than that. What you gonna do now? I'm freshly unemployed and, well, no longer hidden, right? Something like that. Well, I don't think that's the worst thing in the world. Worst in the world or not, it's inconvenient right now. Didn't you know you kind of want that, though? Hmm. I mean, going to the sea is like hiding a tree in a forest, sure. But you're still going to be perceived a lot more by people than if you were toughing it out in the middle of nowhere. And maybe, maybe too much attention isn't ideal, especially for someone like you. But being perceived by those closest to you, that's good, right? At least, <laughs> Want to believe it's good. Hmm. Hey, Grizz. Yeah? You want to join my band for real? <laughs> oh, that's kind of interesting. I like this game. <laughs> I mean, it's not really much of a horror game. It's... I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like a thriller kind of game. Really not much horror elements. You're just in it for the, uh... Well, the process of disposing the body and, well, killing the jock dude. Hello, Duncan. We are... Death of Venus. Woo, yeah, woo. Singing excitedly under her breath. Very, very pumped to be performing live here today. We'll be giving you the show of a lifetime. Now, a drum roll for our very newest member on the drums. The bear. He actually joined the band. Yeah, I like this game. It's... <laughs> it was pretty fun. But if you guys enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. As always, until next time, have a good day. I'm just going to sit here and listen to this beat all day. <laughs>